Good morning, all you Minecraft people. I am Renovate, and today, guys, we are playing Fullcraft 2. This is episode number... 5. <laughs> I could remember. But I did realize that this particle effect that's coming out of my derriere is farts. But my farts smell good, because I eat strawberries. Excellent. All right, so guys, uh, last episode, we milked a cow. And if you look over here, doo -doo 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 -doo. hello cow. All the cows are interested in what's going on with this guy. They're kind of like, it's like they're trying to save him. Like, we're going to save you. I don't know what's going on. This guy up here, he's trying to break this thing. Don't know how he even got up there. But if you look at our tank, it's completely full of molten steel so it did work it works when we're not on it doesn't work when we are on in the meantime I made me 10 nets and we went out and we got a bunch of new cows and I can't tell you exactly what they are but I'll go over the ones that I do recognize um, which is only like three of them so this bright pink one is a botania cow that bright green one is a botania cow and Let's see, that bright red one back there is a blood cow. It's kind of cool. But the reason I went looking for cows is my energized glowstone cow deceased. No, we did not kill him, but he did die. So I was kind of heartbroken because I had good plans for that guy. And yeah, so that's kind of upsetting. Last night, while I was on, and I'm sorry guys, I still have a really weird voice. I'm still struggling with this stupid cold. I actually went to the doctor again, and they said I had asthmatic bronchitis. And so they got me on a bunch of uh, antibiotics and a little inhaler. So it feels like someone's standing on my chest, and that I've smoked all my life. But I have never smoked, to be honest with you. Uh, a little, little personal side there, I've never smoked. Um, so... Yeah, these are the cows that we've been playing with. And last night, I decided to do a little renovation, because that is part of my name, of our base. And I told you that I had big plans for our base, and I want to show you what that's going to look like. Um, since we have the chickens... What, what happened here? I think I have one left. Uh, is it this one? <laughs> Boop. Okay. Since we have chickens that have uh, nether quartz... And I've been excavating this whole part here, and I didn't really want to get rid of all of my stone, um, especially the stone that I gathered from digging out the inside. Uh, I just converted it over to these laboratory blocks, which is basically stone and, and nether quartz. And then the black stone, or the black blocks over here, are called anti-blocks. And those are made using stone and glowstone. So I've been using what we have. And it's worked out pretty well. So I started from the corner up there, and I kind of followed the profile of the steps. Because if you notice, the steps aren't the same profile as the temple itself. And that's typical of a Mayan temple. But um, uh, sometimes if you go look at the, some of the temples that are actually in Mexico, or in South America, I shouldn't say Mexico, um, the stairs here actually, when the sun hits it at the right angle, uh, actually looks like a snake. Um, on the side of the uh, of the temple, so that's one of the reasons that they that they did that. But um, enough about uh, lessons. Uh, so I chiseled these blocks here and made a pattern. So if you look, uh, if I press Shift, you can see my pattern. Right? Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. If you hold Shift, you can see there's my ramp pattern, and then the next one there is my uh, corner pattern. So I only needed to make two patterns. This one and this one. And the cool thing is, is when I chisel one of these blocks, you can see what it looks like there on the side. I'm actually getting the, uh, I'm, I'm kind of getting a two for one sale here. If I chisel uh, a complete block, I get the other half back. And then that way I can uh, use those same pieces to make another block. And then I can just use dirt or whatever and transform it into one of these blocks. So it's been kind of, 
it, it's been good so far. And then I've been using some of our glowstone to make these lamps. And uh, so you can see this is the profile. So it's going to be a nice, smooth pyramid. And then we did like a cool little window here, and that's chiseled. I was going to put the energetic glowstone right here and let it flow up into the sky like our old base. But like I said, my cow died, and that's going to be a problem. So let me take you over. Um, did I get anything new up here? I don't think so. No, no, you already had those. So I made these uh, elevators. And this is all, everything we've made so far is all resources that we've gotten from these chickens. And what we have here, I still don't have power. Wink, wink. Um, but, yeah, I had to go get this so we could make paper. And this chicken's still here. I chiseled the windows. They're glass or black black stained glass. How do we get black stained glass? We have an ink chicken and we have a glass chicken. We used our resources. And then if we go down another level, this is our chicken level. And as you can see, I got a little bit more than what we had last episode. I think last episode we were actually trying to get to, uh, was it this chicken here? I think it was the the um, blaze rod chicken. So we got blaze rod chicken, water chicken. This is our cold chicken. This is our obsidian chicken. And we got an emerald chicken. This, 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 this cracks me up. <laughs> it's like a villager. That's awesome. Um, and then we got a lapis chicken. And then um, all the chickens are over here. And they're crapping their stuff out like crazy because... My chest is full. Oh, this is what we did uh, in between episodes, too. So uh, we we configured it all around here, okay? And it was real simple, real simple. You don't need to make color channels or anything. Everything can be on the green channel. Um, so basically on the top, you just extract everything, okay? And it'll go in this pipe. Don't know where it goes, but it goes in the pipe. And then down here at the bottom on each one of them, you put a filter. And you tell what you want to whitelist. So we just wanted to whitelist the eggs and their byproduct. So that's what they're doing, okay? And then all the poop and the feathers go on a filter here. So all poop and fe feathers are getting um, a trash can. So what's cool is I can actually go in here, grab a stack of diamonds, like so. And if I put the diamonds in this guy, like this, watch what happens. Starts taking them out. And if we go over here to the diamond... Watch the number up there on my on my Wayla. See the diamond number going up? So it really doesn't matter which pin it goes in. Um, that's the cool thing about Ender IO pipes. Um, it just kind of, the data goes through here and it puts it where you um, have a calling card or your whitelist filter. So that's kind of cool. I was, for a while there, I was taking everything out of here and then running over there. All I had to do was put it right there. All right, actually, I can put it on this side. doesn't matter. So yeah, that's what we're going to do um, uh, in my free time. But I can't, I don't have any room in here to pick up any of this stuff. So it's just going to sit around for a little bit and until I clean this up. I might do that when we do a little cut here. So let me show you what I've done uh, downstairs. It took us five episodes, guys. Five episodes. I love these lava or laboratory blocks. It's been so long since I've played a mod of Minecraft. And I used to always use these. And they're in the pack, so I used them and... I just love them. So there's factory blocks up here. Got little girders holding up our ceiling. We're going to make it a little bit brighter in here, I think. Um, and then I have big plans for this area down here. It's going to be quite funny. Um, but here's what I set up. This was actually a test for me to make sure that everything worked. This is a liquid... Um, what is this? Um, uh, Gelid Cryothium. Cal. And he has a very um, cold... Uh, fluid supposed to be if you lay this down on let's say you take it outside and you put it in, uh, dig a hole and you put it near the uh, grass it changes everything to snow it's kind of cool this is the naphtha I guess that's how you pronounce it and it has a very high burning rate and when I looked up on the wiki um, on what's the best fluid to use in these compression dynamos because the compression dynamos need a cooling liquid and a burning liquid and those two liquids will produce RF now it said that this one creates about a 1.25 million RF per bucket which is pretty good and that's without it adding any upgrades on the other hand I also read that the not the biofuel but just the regular uh, what's it called I think it's just called fuel. I found a cow, but I didn't get it, but I know where it's at if I need it. Um, but the fuel actually does 2 million RF per bucket. So that's not 
it's not entirely too much, but you know, it is almost, almost a million, but we'll have to see what our, what our, um, our, our uses are or how much we're going to need RF for. But yeah, this is our first power generation. And the problem is, is I'm off centered. See how these, that guy's on that one. And that guy is here. And also I want these to be down the center. And so I need to move that, 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 and the cow over one. So I started putting these here and I'm going to do that. So this is what we're going to work on today. We're actually going to start doing some power generation um, and we're going to do some power storage. And then I have plans over here to start an AE2 system so that we have something to store all our goodies in. And then we're going to take off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy over and I'm going to bring you guys back and I'm going to reset this up so you guys can see how that works again. And then we're going to make a bunch of these dynamos and then the augments for them. And, uh, and then we'll move on from there. Uh, let me guy, let me know, guys. I know, I know I have a, a track record for doing stuff that looks modern. Okay. I have no, uh, problems with doing this every single time. I enjoy it. Uh, it's one of the things that I do uh, for a career. I design houses and, uh, one of the hot styles right now is modern, but this is a modern pyramid. How can you, how can you not like a modern pyramid? And it's not really modern. It's just white. This is the only modern part I thought, but it's kind of more of industrial. Um, so yeah, that's going to be our, our, our main entryway. I'm going to have something really cool down here at the bottom. Everybody's going to come up through these elevators and then I'm going to make a little chisel bit, uh, numbers. So that when you come up, you see what number the floor is and it'd be pretty, it's going to be pretty cool. The top of this is going to be solid gold and, um, not to like show off or anything, but we have a bunch of gold. Uh, we have gold chickens and we really don't have any use for gold right now. I do need the gold to make the, uh, presses for AE2, but that's about it. I also have a gold cow. Uh, and I think it's, um, one of these dudes over here. I think it's that one right there, right there. So, okay guys, let me get a couple things ready and uh, I'll bring you back and we'll have some fun. Be right back. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to want to make to make our life a little bit easier is a crescent wrench, the almighty crescent wrench. And that way we can get some of these pipes and stuff. I'm afraid, I know that they've probably changed this and I have nothing to worry about, but I'm always afraid that I'm going to break something and I'm going to lose it. And so I wanted to get this wrench and so we can just shift click on these things and it'll be all good. So see, I can just shift click on that without breaking it. I'm afraid if I break it, then we have some issues. So I am going to put... Um, let's see, we don't break that one too. So now that I've moved it over, it looks kind of better, in my opinion. I'm just kind of, uh, I don't think it's OCD. It might be, I don't know. But I want to have these lined up down the middle. So we're going to put, uh, our mechanical user back here, like so. Boop. Oh, remember, remember, you got to put it the way that you're facing. There we go. Okay. So then we're going to put this tank back to right there. And then, see, I know how to do this now. I'm an expert. We're playing in expert mode. All right. Let's see. We want to pull. It doesn't really matter. So let's pull. Um, let's do this. We're going to insert. Let's insert on red. Let's extract on green. Put this in here. Blacklist it. Okay. So we're pulling out. So this is going to be insert on green. And then extract on red and uh, always active. So the arrows are pointing in the same direction. So make sure this is always active. All right, there we go. And then we are going to put our fluid pipes. And I'm actually short one, but I do have some more. You just don't make two of them. Whoop. And they are right here. Do I have any 10 in there? I have nickel ore. We might have to go get some tin ore. Um, I did start a new uh, a new mining place because um, we were having problems getting that escalium ore. We still are actually, and um, we actually upped the um, the extract always on. And let's put this as insert. All right, there we go. So 
this is always going to be working. Works great. Okay. And then I'm going to go make, we're going to make a bunch of these and then connect a bunch of pipes to them. Actually, we'll per, probably put two more right here. And I'm hoping that the cows can keep up. I'm hoping. If they can't, it's not a big deal. Let's put that there. And then that there. And then uh, that there. And then, do we need to see through it? Yeah, I guess we do. So I'm gonna, I think I have some glass upstairs. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal if it doesn't because I got other plans for power. But uh, just to get the AE2 system set up, that's that's what I want to get going. Um, I do actually have an upgrade already. It's right here. Fuel catalyzer um, produces more RF. So we can actually probably take that downstairs with us. Is this the glass that we use? I think this is the glass we used. Um, let's just go ahead and grab a couple pieces of glass. That's good. And we'll get a, a chisel. Let's get her chisel. I like us so. And then um, we'll jump back down here. I'm sorry I'm, I'm, I'm not running. Um, I, fi I figured out <laughs> it's, it's not the game that keeps changing my keys. It's me that keeps changing the keys. So I used to hold shift to run, I guess. But maybe I didn't. Maybe I just... See, you're supposed to be able to tap twice to run. But if you hold control, it seems like you run a little faster. I don't know. But uh, that, I'm the one to change that. It wasn't the game. And let's see. We want it wanted... Uh, which glass was that? That is the stone frame glass. So let's go back in here. And stone frame. This one. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's set that back in there. And... Leave a little breathing hole for him. <laughs> and then put a glass here. And then we are going to set this guy right there. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. You guys can talk to each other like, what the frick is going on? So yeah, I'd put these little laboratory blocks up here. There's some points that way. There's some points that way. So you kind of get the hit of what is going on. So we got some cow power. Hey, guys. I just wanted to show you something. Um... You guys probably want to know how I get all these ores and stuff. Maybe you don't. But basically, we've been I've been vein mining. And let me show you something. Let me take you down to the bottom of our hole back down here. And I want to show you how much that I've vein mined. If we go down here to the bottom, down here, <laughs> you can kind of see it on the map already. Watch how much this... Is it down one? Oh yeah, it's below us. I'm sorry. Let's. Oh, there's a skelly right there. Ouch! Don't hit me. Let's go down one level. It's down here. I went down to bedrock because this is where the escalium is supposed to be. And see all these ores? I just haven't mined them. I was merely looking for the um, the escalium ore. And so I know that if I need ore, I at least know where they're at. There's like iridium. Lots of silver and lead. There's tons of um, redstone. Just had a little lag spike there. Platinum, man, man infused. And I'm not using, there's a bunch of nickel. I'm not using a tool. I'm just using my torch. And I just hold down vein mine. And yeah, this takes a little bit of time. What the frick? Really, guy? Get wrecked. Okay. I'm just using my torch. Now I got to start all over. And I'm just vein mining. And, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's about the amount of time that it takes to break, like, obsidian. But I'm not using a tool, you know. And right now I don't, <coughs> excuse me, right now I don't need, um, well, I do because I'm making my little uh, temple now. But it, before I didn't need all this cobblestone, so I didn't need to worry about breaking my pick um, and replacing it and whatnot. So... So let's, I think we can just do it right here, guys. So let's go over here. Let's get compression dynamo. Bam. Let's make some of these. Let's make like six or five. And let's go and make some of the, what am I missing? Oh, I got to turn this into ingots. Let's turn it into ingots. Let's make, uh, how many can we make? Four? That's enough. And then, uh, let's see, we can make two more of those. That'll work. And then let's put these. Actually, you know what? If I just put them here, I don't even have to make any, do I? 
Nope. If I just put it there. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's our caressant wrench? Um, let's see. Crescent wrench. Where did I put the crescent wrench? Doop, doop. Uh, nope, down one. You know, I need, I, this is why we need an AA2 system. Uh, there's our crescent wrench. Let's grab this too. Yeah, let's go back downstairs. Run fast, guys. Time's a wasting. All right, let's grab uh, this. There we go. And then we'll put the other one right there. And then we'll just click this like that. And how well is our fluid going down? Is it going down by much? Not really. Look at that, guys. That is awesome. We got some power generation going on. Our cows are getting milked. That's the only problem, though, is I got I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if these are going to keep up, that's my only concern. And the only thing that I can think of is making these tanks a little bit bigger. But I don't know if you can. Um, he's got ten buckets, and he's only got six. So it looks like this gets used up more than the other. I could find another one of these chickens, or chickens, these cows. I have found uh, another one of these. I know where they're at. I know where another one of those are. Um, I can show you on my map, but I don't want to. I don't want to let the secret out. Um, so what happens if I put this, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, do I just click on it? Augment. Why can I not, uh, upgrade required? What's the upgrade? What upgrade are you referring to? Um, do I have to change these themselves? Um, requires tier immediately proceeding. Oh, really? All right, so we actually have to upgrade these guys. Okay. Okay, folks, I got all the madness done. I've made four upgrades. We only need three for right now. So let's go click, click, and click. Okay. And then that should allow us, that was installed, that was installed, and that was installed. Now, can I put these in there too? Crap, I can't because I need uh, the reinforced upgrade, which requires the fused quartz or the hardened glass. Um, if you go to let it cycle through its little colors here, but it requires fused quartz or hardened glass. So I can either make an induction smelter or I can make an alloy smelter. And I guess, we'll see, here's the induction smelter, and the other one's the alloy smelter. Um, but what does, oh, crap, I just want to click on it. So let's do this with an empty hand then. What um, exactly did that do? So it actually, this increased our power, maximum power, it increased it up a little bit. And yeah, so it's sucking, it's sucking a lot of juice out of this cow, isn't it? Yep, but this one is staying relatively full. So we might have to go get another one of these cows. But they're all staying pretty good, actually. So let's do this. I went ahead and made uh, one of these, and I made some of these. So I just want to see. Let's uh, put that there, there, and there. And go like this. And before I put this on, let's go like this. And let's upgrade this to that and then so what is the maximum that's not what i want to see um oh okay it's four thousand so it's four thousand in four thousand out okay and it holds eight million rf okay that's cool so let's plop that and let's go like this and it is going up pretty good and how are we looking down here? So this is getting used. Now, this is what I want to see, how much this stuff goes down. So it's not going down, but it is producing RF. And that one's producing RF, and that one's producing. This is staying, that one's maintaining, that one's maintaining. So this is actually producing RF with the fluid that's already in the tanks. So this is probably still going up. Yep, it's still, it's still going up. It's not going up much, or not going up fast. 
but it is going up. So that is kind of good to see. Like I said, it's supposed to produce, and the generation rate right now is only 60 RF a tick. We'll make that go up. But it's supposed to produce a million RF per bucket. And there's four buckets in here, a million two. So there's technically five million RF internal storage in this before it's going to request another bucket. You can see these are still maintaining their fluid levels and we haven't done anything yet. So that's what I wanted to see. It's not so much how much RF I can produce, not what it is, but this is what I wanted to see if it would work. So I am going to probably go get another one of these guys and another one of these guys and we'll have a double cal uh, power output here and then I will get the necessary stuff to upgrade this. I'm going to do this all off screen but um, that's what I'm going to do and then next episode guys I promise I promise with my headache that we will start AE2 so we can get our storage and get everything nice and neat and uh, the cool thing is the way I have everything set up is a lot of the pipes are going to be in between the floors so you're not going to be able to see a bunch of stuff and also behind the walls um, but it might just be I don't know I don't know it might just be whatever I want it to be I'm just playing and having fun. I hope you guys are too. If you are, make sure you hit that like button up at the top. Or actually, it's down in that bottom right-hand corner. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also, check out everybody that's recording on the Voxel Squad. The link is down in the description. And thank you to Sticky Pistons for hosting the server. We appreciate it. And I will see you guys next episode. It's been really fun. See ya.